Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video, I want to show you off some of the changes to build 19578 of Windows 10X. Uh, this is the Windows emulator, the Microsoft emulator that I'm using on uh, our laptop to, to show that. And uh, there's a couple of interesting new things, a new file, um, uh, there's a new file explorer, um, there's better Win32 com compatibility, I'm going to show you that as well. Uh, so first thing about the uh, emulator is that you don't have to be a Windows Insider to run it now, so you can run it on your uh, on your normal PC as long as it supports the technical requirements. Bill 177. Uh, 6.3 now will support this emulator so you can uh, get cracking this if you even if you're not on the windows inside the program you can use this okay so what's new on this build well first i've signed in here so you can see i've got my recent apps you notice the start menu looks a bit more centered uh, i have seen it full screened as well but uh, it's got a bit more centered and there is an interesting new app coming which is called file explorer and it's got the beta tag on it this is um Microsoft's Cloud Explorer, new version of File Explorer. Um, so you can see here by the icon that it's actually you, all this content is from um, from OneDrive, and you can see I've got an audio folder in OneDrive where I store my podcasts, and there all the files are. So I could play those um, podcasts directly here from File Explorer. Uh, or using OneDrive content. I would imagine what Microsoft will do is add more sources. If I show you on here, you can see you've just got files. But I would imagine that they could add more sources, maybe the local file system, so you can move files between the local system and uh, and and uh, the cloud. And maybe they could add OneDrive for business or something like that as well. So you can see here, this is the effectively the modern version of File Explorer that will be uh, shipping with Windows 10X. It's a beta at the moment, but uh, there's a lot of work to do, I guess, on it, but there you go. So there you can see I've um, playing the podcast that I store in my OneDrive folder directly on here using Groove Music because it's the default audio player. So that's the new file explorer. Uh, in the release notes, Microsoft mentioned that they've improved the handling of Win32 apps. And just to show you, I found a really old one that I do use every now and again. And um, it's called... Uh, putty which is a communication you can use it for telnet ftp ssh that kind of thing and it's a proper old school win32 app and as you can see i've just uh, fired that up and yeah it works okay and I'll, i can type into it and all that kind of stuff so everything works on it but you notice how it's centered because it's a, a windows app it, it, there is no maximize options so it's centered in the screen I could uh, I found one an example of uh, a full screen type one. This is the same app from the same provider, but it's it has the option of running full screen, and so the app does run full screen. So you can see how Win32 apps are going to run in their fixed window size, or if they've got a resizable window, I think they're going to run full screen like that. I also installed the Spotify app from the Windows Store, which is a Windows uh, a Win32 app, and. It certainly looks better with this build than it does um, than it did in previous builds. In the previous builds, it was kind of in a strange window, and uh, you couldn't resize it. Now it goes to that full screen as it did as these other apps did. So you can see it's full screen, but there's no minimize option. Um, and I found after uh, after the, the device restarts, it auto runs. I couldn't really find a way to launch it back up without actually just killing the task and rerunning it again. Uh, that's because you've no task sort of tool, uh, task tray or application tray down here in the bottom corner like you used to have. Uh, now you've got just this um, got quick settings area. But it works. I've played audio with it. It's it's fine. So those are the main changes with uh, this build of Windows 10X. It's interesting looking user interface and I think um, this is definitely the way forward for Windows for small devices, um, dual screen devices and so on. So it'll be interesting to see how this project develops. We'll see more builds in the future and you can find out more on thislifestyle.com and on my Twitter at Thanks for watching this video.